prostituting. Yeah, well, that was mainly because I, I could not afford my my addiction any longer and i'd see a lot of the working girls out there and they'd make us they'd make fast money like quick 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 and they're like yeah well go out and do this so i did and to be perfectly honest with you i i maybe because of some of the unresolved sexual abuse as a kid i i used more use the prostitution more as a power thing like for me it wasn't i wasn't like oh grossed out by it i was just like you know i've got all this power you know i'm mean, here's something that these guys want and i can give and make money at it to boot and um I don't need to be emotionally attached to anybody. Plus, I'm high as hell, so it didn't really matter. I'd go out, I'd just do my thing, and literally uh, have a pocket full of money, go off and score, do it all over again. I mean, it just became like a 24-7 thing. But at this point, now I am living on the streets. So I am couch surfing, I am staying, sleeping on park benches, I am literally staying in hotel rooms that guys have rented and uh, have let me sleep. I remember some winters being so cold and my feet being so frozen and like the horror of being homeless and so hungry. I'd be so hungry, but it didn't stop me. I mean, I'd go out, I would pound the street, I would make my money, I would go to the dealers, I would do my thing and I did this day after day after day. Um, unfortunately, all the things that come along with prostitution, one, you know, I got 27, 29 stitches in my cheek. I uh, got cut by a guy. Um, I stole some of his dope off of. Uh, he did not like that. Um, I got beat up. I was held hostage. I had so many horrific things happen to me. And I was so strung out that, in fact, you know what? I didn't even feel it anymore. It didn't matter. Like, it, it just didn't matter. As long as I got my next fix, I was okay. You know? Um, you use people. You hurt people you steal from people and you probably i just can't well i mean i, I can't really get out get into it much more than that it's just it's god awful however um i did let it go on for seven years which time um my kids were staying with their dad uh, i had no contact no contact whatsoever with my children at all um it was when I finally decided that I'd had enough. I'd been in and out of jail many, many times. And uh, I was actually looking at a two-year stint that finally decided that maybe I should get my shit together. So uh, I took off out west and um, did a geographical tour, uh, hopefully a cure. But that's a whole other story. So.